Hey, I'm Zach Ice. Welcome to Derry. The Peace Bridge. The best way they find us to get here would be the river. It's not required, it's just a choice. Something's imposed at the moment. What's that regard? Associated with the peace, right? His, his life would have been the first. Facing the same direction bit of it that's left. That was a prison? That, that car is the only bit of it that's left. Left. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. That's, that's the Catholic. St. That's St. Cathedral. St. St. Cathedral. Yeah. St. Cathedral. Yeah. yeah. That's for John Hume's man. Yes. Yes. Not the red brick one, the one beyond that. Uh -huh. with, the, with the big board. And that's your high court? Oh, and that's your high court? Just to order court. Just because he found it or something useful? Like, wait, and he, and no offense, but he had no role to play in that other than fishing. Thanks, Haley. And, yeah, he was the governor of the Yes, Army in Derry uh, at the time of the civil rights, so it it would be good to have a very important picture in history. Hmm. Welcome to Derry. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> bones being yes. thrown. Yes, there, there are still pet petrol bombs being thrown even yet. This church down here, the next mm -hmm. not the next building, the one to that within the last couple of years has been petrol bomb. The wall on the Peace Bridge. I just Why? love the wall. I just love that it's such an ancient structure and it incorporates a living, bustling city and there's so much history and so much of the division is, this is symbolic of the division. Uh, with the troubles. And I love all the murals. I love, I've never seen the bog site. I've heard about the bog site all my life when I was a, a child and I would have understood what it was in relation to Derry, but this is it and I, I'm seeing it for the first time. And I love all the murals and the history and it's just been fascinating. So that's Irish mythology. Yeah. So that would have been before the the, the peace peace bridge. Okay. Would have been before the. So that would have been before the, the, the peace, peace bridge, okay. So would have been before the
It, got it. <laughs> the king. John Hume, tell me a little bit about your experience working with John Hume. Uh, okay, so I worked for the SDOP under Patrick uh, for many years, and John Hume was the leader of the uh, SDOP. I would have met him at uh, annual conferences uh, and stuff, and I was this stage in my life where there was the opportunity to have a, an apprenticeship for the Socialist Party in Brussels, and John Hume was the person who facilitated that for me. So I ended up working in Brussels uh, for a while and at the uh, uh, Parliament in Strasbourg uh, with John Hume. And it was a truly wonderful experience. He was an incredible uh, man and had true vision for this country. Would he be your pioneer, maybe? He could well be. He actually could well be. And all this, all this woodwork. Yeah. Stud. He knew I was filming. <laughs> Not as cool. You gotta throw the wing. Yes. Yeah, we were just over there. Oh, well, thanks, Gary. Gary's fine. I've seen all of it. <laughs> they finished it. Are you playing with the South Africa? Over the bridge, back to you. So my top three favorite things so far today are of course this peace bridge right here. I loved seeing and walking all around the walls and I loved the stained glass in the guild hall. It was absolutely gorgeous and just one of a kind, truly. So tell me about what was your favorite thing of the day? I enjoyed being here with the people I was here with. Uh, I enjoyed the walk through the park. I love this peace bridge. I love being in Derry. I love uh, that Alan was able to tell us all about the history and uh, about the siege of Derry. And we got to see the Derry Girls exhibit, which just opened today, which was a uh, happy coincidence for us. Um, and we just had a lovely time. So say, I am Yvonne Arch and I'm passionate about family. I am Yvonne Arch and I am passionate about family. Um, I enjoyed my glass of Guinness. <laughs> but it was only a glass, Adrian. <laughs> but it was only a glass, Alan, you're right. It could have been a pint. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would have, it would have been so much better as a pint. Out of all the things that we saw, what stood out to you the most? I loved the stained glass window. Uh, in the... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I enjoyed the... Uh, the, the the tower museum yeah it's changed so much since the last time I was in not just the uh, not not just the Derry girls but uh, quite a bit of the other work yeah yeah it was quite different <laughs> I'd like to have seen that film but we just didn't have time really today yeah to yeah sit through it beautiful but it was good spending time with my family and my friend <laughs> yes yeah thank you Alan for taking us around your home. No, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to do it for you. Oh, when I when I, I knew Yvonne was coming over, I, it was the first thing I thought of. You got to see Derry. Yeah. Well, I was very happy to do. My favorite thing today was the stained glass, um, similar to you. But uh, overall, the town was really cute. I thought that thatched roof was awesome, and um, I really loved the vibes. Um, classic that it was raining. But uh, it actually kind of gave like that perfect Irish feel to it that you know I like. 
Uh, I thought the bridge reminded me of kind of that Harry Potter feel. And uh, there's actually a mural coming up that's in my top five of the day. Um, but overall, got the opportunity to hang out with my family, my wife, my sister, who has moved here as a result of the beauty of this awesome country. And uh, I just can't wait to see what we see next. Check out the beaches in Ireland. Okay, so would you say this is actually your favorite part of the trip? Well, there's never a time I'm at a beach that it doesn't automatically become my favorite. Check out the beautiful beach in Ireland. <laughs> so as usual with Ireland, this is probably one of the most beautiful places I've been. You got the beautiful beach landscape, the rolling hills, light cutting through the clouds and these beautiful mountains in the landscape. Apparently this is a really cool temple and there's actually a B&B &B right behind us that we're going to try and get on Yawa Mag. <laughs> 